our movie basically starts off in BC. They're on a vacation in British Columbia, and they stop at a house called the Ball House to look around. I like, it was a nice house to look at. They looked at the house. It was totally made of ball house. It was a pretty awesome house. After doing that, they basically had to go back to where they were supposed to be. Okay, I have long day of sightseeing and seeing all the things to see in Briscoe. They were at home. This wasn't their real home. This was their home that they were living in when they were in British Columbia. Okay, so they basically got everything ready for dinner and then they were going to have dinner. Basically, day turned into night time. It was night time. Um, well, they always had dinner. Dinner was quite late. The next day, they had to basically pack everything up and leave BC because they were going back to their home, their real home. Okay, their vacation in BC was over and they're basically back at home in Ontario. They're in Ontario now and this is their house. Okay. Um, Rat basically went outside of him and he planted some seeds, right? Thinking it would grow. But later on, his dad dug it up. So he made a decision to ask his father, can he have some, his own garden? His father said, fine, you can have your own garden. But Shelly said she wanted her own garden too over it. Okay, it's basically the next day, so it was basically off to school for Brett. We had to go to school. So we went to school. Okay, Brett was basically at school. He was at school. Okay. This was when he was very young, I think. They had playtime in class, I think, so they had to play. Jackie said, guys, how will we play house? And Brett said, okay, we'll play house. I'll be the dad, Jackie, you'll be the mom, and Matthew, you'll be the kid. And they said, okay, we'll play house. That's what we'll do. Okay, Brett basically went home, my honey. Go off in for the day, so he went outside to work on his garden, and that's what he was going to do. Okay, Brett was finished gardening, I think, in his own garden, I think, and he went back to the house because it was dinner time. They had dinner. Dinner was quite delicious. Very delicious indeed. Okay, day time turned to night time. It was night time. Brett and Shelly were playing with he her until it came to the point when Shelly had to go to bed and later Brett had to go to bed. Okay, it was the next day, and it was a lovely day. Okay, it was basically at school, but it was at school. School hasn't opened yet, so they were outside uh, in the playground.
Brett knew it was a girl standing on the playground. You know the story. This is a story about Brett finding a girl standing on the playground. So he decided to pull her. Brett introduced himself to her and said, Hi, my name's Brett. She said, Hi, Brett. My name is Cameron. Brett said, Do you want to go and do something? Maybe play a game with her or go to the playground play at school? Cameron said, Sir, why not? Let's go and do something together. Okay, it turned out that Cameron was in the class they were in, so they were good. They were happy she was. Brett was happy that Cameron was in the class that he was in. Okay. Holly said, hi guy, how you doing? Hi Brett. Brett said, hi Holly, how you doing? Holly Jr. said, I'm fine, I gotta get to my class now. I'll help be late. Brett said, okay. Gore was finished for the day and Brett was home. And he was happy at home. He told his mom that he just got a new friend today. Karen! And I like her, is what he said. I like Karen. She's fun to be with. Oh, I'm so happy, Andy. I got a new friend, Andy. I'm so happy as can be. I got a new friend, Andy. I want to spend my life with Karen. I dream of growing old with her. Oh, I got a new friend, Andy. Our friendship will never end. I got a new friend, Andy. Brett really said, I got a new friend today, and her name is Karen. And I like Karen. She's fun to be with. I really do like Karen, he thought. Later on the day they had dinner, dinner was quite delicious. Hugging. After we hugging, Brett just played with Shelly again. Okay, earlier this morning, Brett basically talked to his mom and said, Can I have Karen over the weekend? And his mom said, Fine. Okay, so he was basically at school, so he went to Karen and said, Do you want to come over to my house? She responded by saying here, No, Brett, do you want to come over to my house? And I said, Okay, I'll go over to your house. And that's basically how it went. Okay, it was the weekend darling, and Brett was right over to Canada. So his mom drove him over to Canada darling, and when he had Canada darling, he played again. I don't think that was a just talked about thing and maybe played work and just did fun things. It basically was Sunday, I think, and it was getting closer and closer to Brett's birthday and getting closer to summer holiday. Brett's birthday was in the summer. Brett wanted a birthday party, I think, at Chuck E. Cheese with his friend. The question is, I think, how would he have done this? He would have had to hand out invitations to his party before school finished for the summer. So that's what he had to do. He was going to have a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese. It was a couple of days left of school till summer holiday. 
but handing out invitations to a friend to a birthday party. A birthday party will have Chuck E. Cheese here, okay. Okay, school finished the summer on and it was summertime and it was my birthday. My birthday party was at Chuck E. Cheese. He had a friend, Cameron, his best friend Cameron, and a friend Matthew. Jackie was so sorry he couldn't come. After dinner at Chuck E. Cheese, they went to see a movie. The name of the movie was Roger Rabbit. They went to see it. It was okay. Afterwards, the party was basically over, so they went back, they, back to their homes. Basically, things were starting to change in his life. But was getting older, I think. He also had a new sister, Lisa. A new baby was born. But his latest and his sister Stelly Ahing they're drinking far away from each other. For some strange reason they kept on having arguments over him, but what was it over? They don't know. There's a problem with his birthday being in the summer Ahing where well he Got a day off because it was the summer, and he got a nice birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese. But when it came to camp, he had to go to summer camp in August. Yeah, you see where there's a problem here. Okay, Brett was older now, and we had school. School started for the school year. The summer holidays were over. Okay, with lunch time at school, honey, and Brad was in class, honey, having his lunch, he noticed that Jackie, honey, was sitting on the floor, honey, eating her food on the chair. And Brad found by saying, what's wrong with Jackie? Karen found by saying, she's not upset at you, she helped at me with something I said, but it's not her. Okay, so Brad didn't really think much about it, so he sat down and had his lunch, honey, but he couldn't figure out what the problem was. Okay, school was finished for the day to Brett was at home. But, for some reason, his sister did not seem to really want anything to do with him. What was wrong with her? She didn't know. Okay, okay it was getting closer to the summer again, so Brett was playing another birthday party, I think. But he wanted to do it half and half. Half at Chucky Cheese, half home party. So instead of the private party we spent at Chucky Cheese, it was half and half. So the party we had at home, but they went to Chucky Cheese for dinner. Okay. It basically was the summer, and it was my birthday. He had a birthday basically both at home and at Chuck E. Cheese. They always saw a movie called Honey Shrunk the Kids or something. But you see this is what gets weird. His sister somehow didn't want to go with him uh, to see the movie. So they basically went out for dinner so they went to Chuck E. Cheese for dinner or something. They ate a little bit and then they basically went back to his house or something where the party, where the party would have been. Okay. Okay, for some strange reason, Matthew had to go home early. So, Brett and Karen hanged out in his room. Uh, 
Karen play with his Lego with him. Basically came to the point where Karen had to basically go back home to her home because her mom picked her up. Okay. Let me explain to you what the problem was. On his birthday, when he went to see, I mean, so the kids, their dad took them to see it because his sister didn't want to go with him behind for some reason. She was all sad at him. Also, again, because his birthday was in the summer, and because he had a birthday party in the summer, he had to go to camp in August. There's another problem. Okay, it was the first day of school, and summer holidays were over, uh, basically at school. When Brett went to school, he said hi to his friends, uh, hi to him, but he was getting older and older. He was 11 years old now. That's how old he was. Brett basically was at home. Their dad had something to tell him. The family had something to tell the family. He was offered a job offer to work in Boston on a tunnel. The Brett father was an engineer at home. Because the engineer at home got paid really good, but he had to go on business trip. And this was a trip at home he had to go on. They were going to be in Boston for a year and a half. It meant that Brett uh, would have to go with them. Then with his sister as well. And Brett looked out the window. He wondered what life was going to be like in Boston. He did not know. But you see, this was a problem. Uh oh. He, when he came back from Boston, he would not see Cameron. He would not stay a friend at all. He would have to go to his school. Then something would haunt him the rest of his life. There would not be another Cameron. There would not be another girl it meant nothing to him like Cameron. There would not be another girl he had feelings for like Cameron. There would be not another girl. The fact of the matter is this, Cameron was best, best friend, it was best buddy, Cameron was his best friend, his best buddy, uh, he, he liked Cameron, he had feelings for Cameron, but when he came back from Boston, he would not see his friends, and he would not see Cameron. He had to go to school, and basically, they say here, he all he say they'll never be in our camp. There would not be an our girl like him. And this is basically where this movie ends.